Okay, everybody should be good to go with their logins. Um, hopefully everybody's logging into Gag Gaggle pretty easy at this point. Again, if you have any trouble with your username, um, if you forget your password, if I spelled your username wrong, just email me and I can get those things fixed. I can fix your username, but I can also, if you forget your password, I can reset it for you. Um, and if I reset it, it'll just be reset back to health and it'll force you to change it the next time you get on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hopefully everybody's good to go at this point. Again, email me if not. So let's get started. Um, if you guys will go ahead and get logged into Gaggle, I'm going to show you kind of the specific things that we are going to be using in this class. And we'll kind of go over how to use those. Okay, so this whole screen is, is fairly new to me. Um, they've just started this this summer last year. This whole screen looked very, very different. Um, so this home screen, I think you can probably customize your home screen. Um, let's see. Mm, maybe not. The old one you could, but anyways. So this is just going to give you, tell you what emails you have, what assignments you've got going on, and then what's coming up. Now keep in mind, my, my screen is going to look different than yours because I'm enrolled in both Health Science 2 and Principles, so I'm going to have more things on mine. Um, you know, whatever you've got going on over here, you can kind of see that. Um, Email, pretty self-explanatory. It's just like any other email. This, um, once you log in, let me see if I can show you. Um, of course, you know this paper clip means it has an attachment. Um, one thing that you may not realize, this is a back button. And this is not like a send button or a reply. It's just a, it's like a back button. Um, there's something else that you need. Oh, here's the reply button over here. Or forward, whatever. So just so you know, that looks kind of crazy. Keep in mind that I can open up anybody's email account and see everything that you have. There's nothing that you can delete that I cannot get to at any point. Um, if you have an IM chat conversation, I can see every single one you ever had um, and all of it. You know, it doesn't just go away. So just keep that in mind, too. Everything's filtered. And once something's blocked, if it says it's been blocked, it will send me an email and tell me what it was. Um, so we'll just kind of keep going. Your classes, it should just have whatever classes you're listed in on here. Okay, apps. This is really the big, this is kind of the big place that you'll spend a lot of your time. So, and we'll just kind of go around assignments. This is where you guys will actually find your assignments that are open. And so, um, it probably has your class down here, so I'll go down here to principles. So, these are the assignments that are coming up. Now, this is different this year, too, um, but we are, I will not be grading anything that you guys do this year. Um, that was part of me. Like I said, I'm only working two days a week in the classroom. I'm working a day from home. And that was just one of the things that for me to be able to work part time, we had to cut out because I spent an immense amount of time grading my online work. And that's just because it takes so much more time to grade it because it is online. Seems like it would be faster, but it's not. So, anyways, this is where you guys will see your assignment. So, I'm going to go ahead and keep listing them on here on Gaggle, even though you're going to submit them to your teachers, um, because I want you guys to know what's coming up. I want you to be able to see it, print it, whatever you want to do. Now, it's up to each teacher as to how they want you to submit things. If they want it emailed, if they want it on paper, if they give you the assignment, I'm going to let each school figure that out as we go, however they want to do it. It'll be up to your teacher. But this is where they're listed. So you can download them. 
typically all my assignments are going to be in Word um, as far as this goes. So that way, you know, we'll make sure that you can open it. You know, if something, <coughs> excuse me, sometimes, you know, um, I get rushed or I get interrupted in the middle of doing something and I'll send you an assignment and there won't be an attachment or it'll be the wrong thing or something. Just if somebody will email me, have your instructor email me and let me know and I'll get it fixed as soon as possible. But this is where those things are. Now, used to, we would, everybody would um, submit everything from here. But again, we're not doing that because your instructors are going to, going to do the grading but this is where you'll find them so you can download it um, or save it to your digital locker which we'll look at in a minute okay so that's that now let's go back up to apps and you can click these off I guess as you go through I'm not sure. This may look a little different than yours because of I've got the teacher version. Okay, blogs, that's not something we're going to use. You can go to your calendar and it should have all of your assignments listed that are due and when they're due and so forth. Um, I typically make everything due on a Friday so that you guys can get all of your week done for the week. Oh, excuse me your instructor should be able to set up that however they want they have the freedom to do whatever they need to do okay um contacts is just going to be your class cyber safety hopefully everybody's taken that by now okay digital locker this is the other big one or another big one that you guys will use so everybody all of you guys should have this principles of health science when you click on it you got, um, everybody should have at least these three documents at this point. You got your syllabus. It will just stay in there. That way you can refer back to it whenever you need to. This Here's the extra credit document if that's something that you want to submit to your teacher. Remember each one, you can do two as six weeks or three per nine weeks for those of you people who are on nine week grading periods. And um, you just follow the instructions on there. Okay, here's the PowerPoint, and that's typically what will be in your digital locker are your PowerPoints that go with the notes and go with the lecture. So always make sure if you guys want to open up your computer and you can just open that and follow along, that's fine, whatever. Now, you guys are also welcome to use the digital locker for your other classes. Like, let's say you are in English and you forgot your jump drive and you're like, oh, what do I do? I need to save this. Well you can save it to your digital locker and come back and get it out later. So um, you're welcome to use it for whatever you need to use it for. Um, I hope that that, I hope that everybody's digital lockers. I do want you guys to make sure that it's shared with you, the principles one, because if we, if I had to add people extra, I have to go back and add you individually to everything that we do. So, <coughs> excuse me. Okay. A couple more things that we need to look at. One are the discussion boards. Now for you guys. Ah, I've got two for whatever reason. Interesting. I gotta fix that. I'm sorry, it's uh, it's empty right now. It won't be, but um, tonight actually, I'll go in and post something in here. But um, your discussion board is where all of the lesson plans will be for every week. And so, let me kind of show you actually what that will look like. Um, it actually. Let me just show you um, exactly what that's going to look like. Uh, 
Okay, so what you guys are going to actually see on in the discussion board is I will actually take, I will copy and paste this new term like this all the way down for the whole week. This is, I use these for my students here and I just copy and paste it or I actually I adjust it for you guys because sometimes there needs to be a few changes. And then, so I adjust it and then I just copy and paste it into your discussion board. And so this is kind of what it will look like. So Monday's a holiday, Tuesday, and then it'll just be bulleted and you can see exactly what you need to do. So on Tuesday, I do a quick little lecture that and where I talk about the definitions of all these new payday terms for the week. Um, I'm, the video from yesterday will be in here. Um, this video will be on there listed. And then, so here you go for Thursday, it'll just say, here's the lecture, how available is healthcare. Here's the link to the lecture. So you guys will be able to just click on that. You can watch them from home if you miss. You can, you know, whatever you need to do. Um, and then it'll always tell you if there's something attached. See PowerPoint and Digital Locker. Well, you can go back to your Digital Locker and there the PowerPoint will be that says how available is healthcare. Now, um, I try to always write down in here, see PowerPoint and Digital Locker, but in case I forget, always go and look because if, if we have lecture, you're going to have some type of notes, um, or at least usually you will. So then it tells you to read page 34 in the blue book and loud and discuss. It talks about the baby boomers. And what mainly what I want you guys to discuss is how this affects you. And then sometimes I'll have a note to the teachers in here. So next, what you guys are going to be doing is everybody's going to, y'all are going to look up um, pages 37 to 42. Everybody in your class should have a different facility to read about in these pages and then explain to the class what it does. <coughs> Excuse me. And then Friday, you have your research. Uh, research. You, the assignment is to research the healthcare service agencies. It's due next Friday. And so make sure you read the instructions. So this is exactly what every week, this is kind of what the lesson plans are going to look like. If there's a lecture, you're going to have the link to it. Um, we'll talk about the payday terms every week. This normally will have a payday every Friday, but this week we won't because it's going to be the next week. It's a short week because of the holiday. And I want to give you guys some time to get settled in. I will say this about the paydays. Um, these words will all be matching. These, you'll only get the abbreviation and you have to write in the word. And the words have to be spelled correctly. So, um, one thing on this uh, service agencies, whenever you guys get yours assigned, like it says, don't worry too much about the funding. I just want you guys to know if it's funded by the federal government, state government, is it funded by private donations? You know, where do their funds come from? Um, and you'll see that question on there if you haven't already. It's just that a lot of people, I don't know, have trouble with that. But anyway, uh, so Friday, what's due is your syllabus that is signed. So this is exactly every week. This will just be copy and pasted into that. Um, I mean, I'll just do it right now, actually. Show you guys exactly what it's going to look like. Oops, except I forgot the words. We need those. So here's our new topic. I'm going to put week of nine. Oops. Nine two, and then down in here, right click. Now I will say this: Gaggle has some weird stuff that goes on sometimes. Um, sometimes when you're in discussion board, or if you're in an assignment or digital locker, and you try to right click and paste something, it won't work. It won't let you. So if you'll instead of doing that, you can hit Control V and it will let you paste it. I don't know why Gaggle has issues with that, but just FYI in case you ever have trouble with that. 
So this is, let me fix this. I'll show you guys what it'll look like on your end. Um, okay, so this is what it'll look like on your end. You, there's no reason you guys don't have to reply back. Unless you have a question, like your whole class maybe has a question or something, that's fine. You can reply back. Cause, but it, just know that if you post it in this discussion board, everybody's going to be able to see it. So just know that that is there. So once you open this up, it'll look just like this. So here's the new terms. Here's my apology for how I looked that week because I spilled a bottle all over me. Um, and then Tuesday, it's just going to tell you exactly what to do. Now, each school for you guys will kind of have some leeway to do whatever you need to do. Um, just because everybody's schedule is going to look different. So, but you need to make sure and ultimately go by whatever your instructor says. This is, but this is your guide. And this is your instructor's um, guide as to how the class uh, should be done. So, anyway, so this is what it will look like. You'll just go through Tuesday. Now, if those of you guys, like if you're going to be gone on Thursday and you know that on Monday, you already know ahead of time, go ahead and watch the video and get your stuff done. You know, be, be prepared. Prepare ahead of time. So this is the discussion board. Um, you guys need to check the discussion board regularly because if I make a change to something, like if I change a due date or if I go back and explain something about a project or something like that, this is where I do that. It's in the discussion board. So make sure you're checking that regularly. Okay, so that's the discussion board. And then last, we're just going to talk about for a second, is GaggleTube. Now, on GaggleTube is a filtered YouTube. I know for a lot of you guys, they probably don't allow YouTube at your school. But this is a filtered, um, it, it's videos that teachers have gone in and said this is appropriate to watch. So typically I just put my own videos on here and then things that I want us to watch. And so like, yeah, here's some examples. So here's my Wolf City class. This is a song that they did a couple years ago in class. So, um, anyway, so you can see how that works. So, there will be several times this year I will have, like, this is a video that we'll watch. This is a video we'll watch in Health Science 2. Um, so, this is another one. So, um, anyways, just so you guys know, that's what that's for. So, you, you're welcome to search through it, whatever. They've all been approved. If you see something on there that is not right um, there should be a place to say that if not I can I can contact gaggle and tell them so anyways those are the main apps that you guys will be using the assignments uh, the digital locker and the discussion boards those are the three big ones discussion boards you need to check constantly um, I'm not sure what these are we don't need any of that that's not you Okay, if you do want to go use the old gaggle, if you've used it before or whatever, that's fine. It's kind of the same idea. So here's your applications. So here's the discussion board. I gotta fix that. Um, discussion board, and it's got the same, you know, it's got that my note written in it and so forth. Um, so everything's in there. Now, they had, huh, they used to have all of these training videos that told you how to run Gaggle, but here's the user guide if you need that. And I don't know if live chat works for y'all or not. I'd be interested to know. Y'all might let me know sometime. Um, but I use live chat a lot if I'm having trouble with Gaggle. But, you know, I just go to live chat and they help me right then. I mean, it's so easy. Anyway, so there's some other ways if you need help. Um, I'll tell you who make great resources, and that those are the students who took this class last year. 
So they will help you if you need some help. Um, anyways, I hope this is clear. I'll, if you guys are struggling with it or you're having trouble, go back and watch this video again. That's one of the joys of having everything recorded and on YouTube. You, you guys can do that. Um, anyways, I hope you guys, you know, um, are getting this. I want to wish everybody good luck for this year. I know you guys will all do awesome. Just remember that you need to stay flexible because this is an online class and um, things don't always turn out like they should. Things, you know, it's just online, so it's going to be different. Um, keep that in mind and make sure that you keep up with your studies because if you get behind in here, it takes a long time to catch back up. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and I will talk to you soon.